Asian scholars and intellectual claims about the prevalence of dengue fever in flood-affected areas have been refuted by the chieftain of dengue fever causing mosquitoes. It has been realized that complaining less and accomplishing more should be the slogan to alleviate the suffering of people living in flood-affected areas. The Aedes albopictus, also known as tiger mosquitoes, communities have shown strong concern about recent reports in which the spread of dengue fever is forecasted among people living in flood-affected areas. From the headquarters of dengue fever causing mosquitoes, it has been clarified that dengue spreading mosquito cannot survive in flood-affected areas. The United States of America's Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has also strongly supported this statement as the dengue mosquito does not lay eggs in ditches, drainages, canals, wetlands, rivers, or lakes. The ultimate message is that Asian experts should stay away from blaming dengue fever spread in flood areas. It creates more panic among communities already devastated by floods. The spread of malaria in flood areas is a strong possibility. It is an ongoing issue as the mosquitoes transmitting malarial parasites survive and thrive in all types of water, including streams, fresh, standing waters, puddles, and dirty water. Let's put more effort into controlling malaria among flood areas people and relatively less into dengue, if any.